Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, uh, I got a new welder and the short story is this is not the right plug that I need. So I've had to, I'm going to have to change the plug on my compressor and in the wall here. So I thought you'd, I'd bring you along for the ride. Um, now, this is where I say if you do anything I do and you hurt yourself, I'm not responsible. Uh, if you don't like the way I'm doing it, don't do it. Uh, but the first thing you're going to do is shut off the power here. So there's no power coming in here. Um, in fact, I had to change. I'm going to have to go get a stubby because we're behind the air compressors right there. So I'm going to actually have to go grab a different screwdriver. I got the plate off here. Now I got a couple screws that go in the box. I'm bringing them in the box here. Got to get those off right here and right here. Going to do that off camera as well. Uh, to save a little bit on your sanity. We have no power going through here. So when you pull this out, you're going to see three wires, at least in this case. In some 240s, you're going to have four wires. You'll have the red one, and the white will become a neutral, and the red will be the power. But beyond that point, we're dealing with three prong plug here, and this is what we have. So we got the white and the black. They both have 240 volt together. Now the white carries 120 of that and the black carries 120 of that and then you got your ground which is obvious ground. Now you need to make sure that your wires are the correct uh, size. I believe these are actually bigger than what I so, actually need on here. This one, uh, back here in the back there are screws that you unscrew to pull these wires out. And we got the new one here that is going to work with everything now. And on the back of it, it also has screws. Same basic idea. Um, green always goes to ground. I personally like to hook that one up first. Now, as far as the white and the black, doesn't really matter which one you put to it. Um, Technically, it might just because of color, but because the white and the black, once again, each are going to have 120 volts going through them, this plug doesn't care which one it gets its power from. So, we're going to hook the ground up first on this particular plug. It appears to actually hook into the side here. Kind of a, I should show that to you. There's a hole right here. And you just stick your wire in there and squeeze it on down. Now on this one, it appears on the top here is where the white ones before I turned it. And you got to be careful. This kind of wire is not meant to really be manhandled a whole lot, or it can weaken it and cause the wires to kink and then want to break. The hard part is going to be trying to get this in here and be able to actually turn a screwdriver on it. I've got to figure it, out how to get more wire, wire to come it. out of there. I don't know why. I'm pretty positive there's more down in there. But regardless, what I ended up doing is actually tipping it up, putting the wires in, and tightening it down from like this. Um, not ideal situation here, to be honest. Uh, but it's the way it all came out. So now. We got to bend these. Uh, she oh, went in a little bit of oomph involved to try and push those wires in there and get them right, but we got her done. Um, not everything's going to go to plan. In fact, 98% of my projects, there's always some sort of thing that doesn't go to plan. So now, now this is done. We got to put a plug on the computer. Basically, these are this is an old, I don't know if it came off a washer and dryer or an oven or something like that, uh, 240 plug. So. I, I just kind of put it on here and it seemed to work and then I, I did tape over it because it didn't have very good end so most of you probably wouldn't be dealing with the tape on the end here so first I'm going to get off that there. off and the first thing I really should say we're dealing with a motor here um, now a lot of appliances and motors and things like that you know can keep residual power in them even after they're unplugged and especially you know larger ones like this I'd be a little more worried about because they might really keep a wall up somewhere uh, inside there 
I really don't know for sure, but I do know this has been unplugged for three or four days, so it probably should be very fine. Hard plug. I... That. It'll come with instructions. You should probably read those. And a little thing unstuck on the back so you don't thieve it. Bunch of thieving phone heads that cause problems for everybody else and make it cost more for everybody else. You all know what I think about thieves, hopefully. If you're a thief, go ahead and unsubscribe now. Because you're a boneheaded jerkwad. Anyway, uh, on with the story here. Looks like this one can be used in several different ways. Comes with an extra little gizmo here for the prong. Um, uh, but for right now, I just want it for three it looks plugs. Like we're just gonna unscrew the back so, here. No, we're back here. Looks like these have nuts on the other side of them here. And then, hoping you can see all this, it appears, although I could be wrong. Nope. This just kind of peels up. It's got kind of like a hinge thing on the top here. And that kind of comes off there. We're going to put the wires through that, so we got to unscrew this section here. Watch out, because these will all come out on you here. And this is the particular one I want, I believe. It's got the smaller one and the bigger this one here. here. Just not all the way this time. Just loosen this up, and it loosens this little thing that holds your wires up here. And that's got a little rubber doohickey we're going to put on here. Maybe take a little bit more here. Make sure these are twisted well and none of them are broke or corroded or anything like that. Once again, I'm going to take and start putting this on here. And it should go over the top of this. Not going to be easy because this is already kind of a rubberized wire here. There we go. We got that on there. Now we're going to take our clip so, here. I'm not sure. I moved you a little bit to see if hopefully you get a little bit more so, out of this. Now that we got that little rubber band thing type thing on there, I'm going to go ahead and stick this up in here. And we're going to unscrew. In fact, these will kind of come in and out of these. So you can switch these around too. So this is kind of like a universal plug. I don't know as I would have bought that. I'd rather have a smaller one that works just the way I want it to work, but anymore people want everything to work for everything as quickly as possible. So I'm going to keep the green one up for now, and then I'm going to put, you know, black or white on one of these and black or white on the other one. Um, yet again, it doesn't really matter. Get you a little better uh, shot here, hopefully. And uh, I'm going to just put these on first. I actually think this might work better because they are so uh, kind of tight in there and that big body is just kind of a pain in the backside trying to get it to maneuver around with it. So I'm just going to take that and actually stick that on there. Just make sure you get the right type the plug. Uh, in fact the one that's for the ground that goes to the green has a green screw. The other two really doesn't matter. snug. This is where you will have problems if these are not on here well. Then we're going to take the body and realize these aren't going to fit through there very easy so I'm going to pull this off. You may want to just take this and slide it down. But yet again I've never used one exactly like this before so you know, I'm kind of learning right along with you. With many of the things I do, you'll find that to be true. I am learning as well. So, I'm going to stick those in their perspective holes here. Make sure this one 
does need to be a certain way here for this plug and that way is going to be flat side down it's got a round side and kind of a flat side and you want flat side facing this direction for my plug specifications anyway okay so we got that push down in there oh well this little doodad thingamajig needs to come further that way and it should be over and I got interrupted here so I'm not even sure exactly where we are but we got all these in their perspective holes we got this little doodad the what I'm calling a rubber band around where it needs to be we're gonna go ahead and now we got to put this on actually I almost forgot this don't do that and the screws just go directly into that and try and keep the camera close enough to see it but far enough away to where you can see it all that's the trick tighten that Got up that all tightened down all these three are all nicely tight in where they need to be everything feels pretty good now the point is the end here is just to cap this off and you're going to put your screws there and your nuts there and uh, you'll be done that you'll notice the ground plug is on top and the two slots are on the bottom now a lot of you are going to say that's why would you do that that kind of thing and I did a video on why I put plugins on in upside down although I will say I did not put this plug in upside down if you look at what's going to plug into it and where the cord is you want the cord to go down looky there they put the ground on top for just the reason that I said now if they do that with 240 plugs for a reason why do you not think that actual plugs are actually not supposed to go this way and I have several people in that video or at least a couple people in that video that swear they know all and I'm the biggest idiot on earth idiot on earth which you know I'm not gonna say I'm not we're all plugged in let's check it well, out see if it works. Time. I did this all and all you could see was my butt and me talking so I decided to redo it but basically I flipped on the uh, fuse back there now there was no smoke no light show no nothing which is a good thing and as you can see everything seems to be working perfectly fine well so as you can see uh, that was I just did that video more to be honest because I was doing it uh, for some content so Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know my hands were in the way of a lot of it, but uh, so be it. Uh, I'm sure there's a few of you out there that might need to get a better picture of what's going on behind the scenes of plugins and those kind of things. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. All right. If you did, please uh, rate, comment, thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. This is Sam, Jack of All, Master Nine. You all have a good one.